Last week, the FDA authorized COVID vaccines for children ages six months to five years old. And then over the weekend, the CDC also issued its recommendations for the vaccines in that age group, meaning vaccines can begin going into arms as early as tomorrow. Dr. Frank McGeorge, you're live now with what parents need to know, and they've got a ton of questions right now, Frank. They sure do, Karen and Devin. You know, this is the final age group that's waiting for or had waited for an authorized vaccine, and many parents are really looking forward now to getting their young children vaccinated. The mRNA vaccines from both Pfizer and Moderna have been authorized, but for practical purposes, most vaccination locations will probably only carry one of the two, and parents shouldn't focus on which one is used. Whichever the vaccine you should give your child is whatever vaccine your doctor's office has. Uh, they're both good. They both are licensed. There is no preferential recommendation. That's Dr. Dennis Cunningham, a Henry Ford Health pediatric infectious disease specialist. Moderna is a total of two doses, 20 days apart. Pfizer is a total of three doses. First two doses separated by three weeks. The third dose, two months after the second dose. Which means maximum protection for the Moderna vaccine will be shortly after one month, while Pfizer's vaccine will take roughly three months. The reason for the different schedules is that the Moderna vaccine uses a larger dose than Pfizer, but both are much smaller than the adult dose. As far as side effects? The side effect profile was really very well tolerated, not much different than in older kids. You can get some fever, some kids may feel the aches and pains, but overall, very safe vaccines. Two other questions some parents have are whether they can be given with other vaccines and does my child have to wait if they recently had COVID? The good news is people can get this vaccine along with their other scheduled vaccines. So there's no reason for you to skip vaccines. As far as if your child's had COVID infection, when can they get the vaccine? They can actually get it as soon as their symptoms are better and they're no longer contagious, which is generally 10 days from the time the first symptom appeared. Now, because it's rare for someone to be reinfected less than three months after their first infection, it's also reasonable to wait 90 days after an infection to get the vaccine, unless, for example, community infection rates are climbing rapidly, or maybe you're traveling to an area with more COVID activity. Well, Frank, this is a very recent authorization, just a few days old. So even though it was anticipated by many, how realistic is it to expect that uh, there will be availability for someone who wants to get the vaccine tomorrow? Well, good point, Devin. You know, some offices and vaccination sites may have the vaccine ready by tomorrow, but because of some practical procedural issues like shipping and staff training, you should check with your pediatrician or pharmacy to see exactly when yeah. they will begin giving the vaccine. Yeah, makes sense. All right, Doc.